Hi everyone. I'm so glad that you could join me today. Today I wanted to talk about essential oils, the basics of essential oils, what they are, why they work, where to start, and why it is that I choose Young Living. If you followed me at all on my Facebook page, Essential Oils with Kimberly, or my Instagram page, Essential Oils with Kimberly, you know I'm all about Young Living Essential Oils. Well, why is that? Well, let's talk about that a little bit. Um, up until January 2017, I knew nothing about essential oils. I thought they were hokey. There had to be something weird. They couldn't possibly work. And then um, my sister contacted me and she had begun using Young Living Essential Oils. She had saw the difference and it impressed me. So I decided, my husband and I decided, let's, let's look into this. Let's give this a try. So we did. So that's how I come to speak about it today is from my own personal experience. I am, I'm not a doctor, I'm not in the medical field. So anything I share here today is not because I have medical um, background to be able to share. I'm sharing my own personal experience and my own research. And so I encourage you to do the same thing, um, to research yourself and share your personal experience because we're all human, but yet all our bodies are in different stages of homeostasis. So what may help one may not have the same effect on another. And that's what makes us all so beautiful and wonderfully made. Okay, so now let's get into it. Let's talk about the basics of essential oils. The number one question, what are they? Essential oils are the fragrant, volatile molecules of a plant that um, actively work within that plant to help regenerate the cells and help it to have healthy cells. And ironically, they do the same thing for us as humans. They help regenerate our cells and help protect our cells um, and help our DNA. Absolutely fascinating. So then the next question, how do you use them? Well, you know what? There are three ways to use Young Living Essential Oils. We can use them aromatically, like in a diffuser and breathe them in. My absolutely favorite way is to use them in a diffuser. If I'm home, I have a diffuser going. Most of the time I have more than one going in my home because diffusers, the Young Living diffusers help humidify, purify, and they're also atomizers, which means they keep those essential oil molecules together so that we get the therapeutic benefit of those essential oils. So diffusing aromatically, very, very important. Important. The other way, topically, topically applying them in our moisturizer, in our lotions, or directly on our skin. Now, for many people, um, especially if they're young, I would never say apply it directly on your skin. Always use a carrier oil. And that's beneficial for all of us. Now, it is true, now that I'm more familiar with them, there are a lot of oils that I don't use a carrier oil. But I would always recommend, if you are new, to start with a carrier oil till you see how your skin responds. And guess what? I don't care if you're a big, tough dude. There are certain essential oils you should always use a carrier oil. They have more of a spiciness to them. Oils like oregano, cinnamon, definitely those two. I, I, don't, I would always, always recommend that you use a carrier oil for those. The third way is internally. You got it. I said internally. Now I know we hear all this never take an oil internally. Well guess what? Although it is true that I'm very selective about what oils I would take internally, I venture to say that pretty much everyone on the planet has taken an essential oil internally. Have you ever um, had orange zest? Oh, what about lemon zest? Guess where the essential oil in orange and lemons is found? In the pill, in the zest. So you have taken them internally. Yes, there is caution to be used there, and uh, we'll get into that. Which ones can we know, can we take internally? I will definitely be covering that with you as well. So that's the three ways. What's fascinating about essential oils is that once we apply one or breathe one in or take one in internally, do you know within 20 minutes 
that essential oil uh, can reach every cell in our body. Within 20 minutes, when you apply one topically, it can reach every cell in your body. That is fascinating to me. And no wonder we notice a response quickly when we use an essential oil. Um, a leader explained it this way, and I thought it was such a good illustration. Imagine the essential oil is Pac-Man. You remember the game Pac-Man? Okay, so the essential oil molecules, this Pac-Man, goes along and wants to eat up all of the synthetic toxins. So when we now have that uh, molecule, an essential oil molecule in our body, it immediately, it's volatile. In other words, it's active. It immediately goes to work looking for and getting rid of synthetic toxins within our body. It starts gobbling them up, which is what we want it to do. Uh, those free radicals that we hear mentioned more and more, Essential oils are going to go in there and start attacking those free radicals, eating them, destroying them. And that is why essential oils are excellent antioxidants, is because they attack these free radicals to protect ourselves, to help ourselves continue to regenerate the way they should, and to help protect our DNA. So now that we know the basics of what essential oils are, the next question is, what essential oils to use? Well, as I said earlier, I particularly only use Young Living essential oils. Why? Because they set the industry standard in making sure that an oil is 100% authentic. Um, they have a process or a promise, actually not a process, a promise, a guarantee called seed to seal. Now, if you're not familiar with that, I'm going to speak of it briefly, but please look that up. Go to seed to seal.com. Basically, it's five things within seed to seal. It's the seed, the way they cultivate it, the way they distill it, the way they test it, and the way they seal the bottle. Okay, all of that is important. From the very beginning, from that very seed, which they hand pick, to the way they grow it, uh, the type and environment it is grown in, because plants, naturally, most plants absorb things from the soil, including toxins that we don't want. I mean, do you want Roundup coming up in your uh, plant and then you distill it and then you diffuse it in your home? No, of course not. And that's just one example. There are so many toxins. So Young Living is very careful about testing the soil. Um, you know, organic land tends to be, I think, typically seven years that a land lays uh, with nothing in it and they test it and test it. Uh, Young Living's goes way beyond that, 20, 30, 40, some cases even 50 years where that land has not been touched by synthetics. And so how wonderful is that? Then they regularly test. Every bottle um, goes through so many tests from out in the field to figuring out the exact time to distill it. They don't just say, okay, well, it's the day after a frost where we're going to harvest this plant today. No, they test. They'll take a little bit and go test it and see, is it at its highest potential or do we need to wait to the evening or late afternoon and then start? Young Living is known for doing that and that means a lot to me. As a consumer, as someone who wants to use these for therapeutic reasons, I want to use natural things to help my body, then I want to make sure I'm using good quality and that I'm not getting something that I think is good quality but I don't really know for sure. Um, so that's the beautiful thing about Young Living. They own their own farms. I have friends that have been able to tour some of the farms. I hope to do that one day myself. I think that would be beautiful to see some of these farms. And they are all over the world, these farms, from the United States to Australia to South Africa, Ecuador, Turkey, Oman. The list goes on and on. Canada. So many different places. So seed to seal, that is why I look to Young Living. So let's talk about then some of the oils that I started with. I started with um, this kit, Young Living Kit. Let me move this so you can see the inside of it here. Um, you'll see there are 10 oils there. 
and then further underneath there's another tab and you will find that there are more oils, some Ninxia Red, a hand sanitizer, which none of us want to be without hand sanitizer right now, right? And then a thief spray. So what I'm going to do is, is just take you through some of these oils so that you can learn a little bit um, about them and how it is that we can use them. So let's start there. So the first thing we notice when we look at these oils is that some are in a white label with a name and some are in colored labels. For instance, within the kit, you will find a white label of peppermint. This is called Peppermint Vitality. Young Living also carries peppermint. Let me turn that so you can see. Just peppermint. So peppermint in the white label and peppermint in the green. So what I wanna make sure that you completely understand is within these two bottles is the exact same peppermint oil. There is no difference. They're not distilled difference. They could have come from the same plant, okay? Um, there's no difference. The labeling is simply labeled different because the FDA says if we're gonna talk about taking an oil internally, then you need to label it separate. It shouldn't be labeled with this one. And you know, that's a protection. That way, if you are new to essential oils, you know to look to see, does Young Living carry that oil in a white label? If so, you know it's perfectly safe to take if it's in the Vitality line. So within these two bottles is the same oil. If I'm wanting to make peppermint brownies, I can use my Peppermint Vitality. Uh-oh, my Peppermint Vitality is empty. Now I can't make my brownies? That's not true, because what did I just tell you? Within the bottle is the same oil. So for me personally, I'm confident. I know it's the same oil, so I have no problem if I myself get a drop of the Peppermint from here. Because if it's in the Vitality line and it's in the regular line, it's the same oil within the bottle. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Okay, so let's start. The first oil I actually wanted to talk about was frankincense. It's this one down here, frankincense. Many refer to it as the king of oils. Um, it's an oil that's common to most people because of the, the biblical references to frank frankincense. Interesting enough, we know in the Bible, it was very expensive, right? That's why it was one of the things that was um, given to uh, Christ as a child. So guess what? Frankincense is still expensive today. We don't grow frankincense here in Indiana. I know no one here in Indiana that grows frankincense. Frankincense typically comes from the Middle East, countries like Turkey and Oman is where you find it. It's not something easily to get. It's from the resin of the tree and the trees have to be many, many years old before you even get the resin. So it's still expensive today. Why do I mention that? Because it's not uncommon sometimes to see a bottle somewhere in a store or whatever, and you think, wow, I can get frankincense for $10. Then my advice, read the label. Read the label. Does it just say frankincense? Um, or does it say other things? And even, even if some chance it does just say frankincense, look into the company, call and ask them, where are your farms? Um, how did you distill it? What do you do to protect the ground before you uh, plant the trees or whatever? Uh, be very, very careful. Frankincense, like I said, is still an expensive oil today. And that's why it's so exciting to us that it is one of the oils in the starter kit that we get to experience frankincense. Now, what are some of the things frankincense is good for? Well, topically, oh my, it's good for the skin. Uh, it's great to put in moisturizers. It's great for the face. Um, aromatically, it's also good for calming. Um, if we're a little bit squirrely or if, if I always say if my brain won't shut off at night, I love to rub a drop of frankincense across my forehead or through my hair or at the back of my brain stem just to get me to help, to help me to unwind. If you are using frankincense vitality, and there is the vitality of frankincense, it is one that can be taken internally, 
then it is good for your body systems like your respiratory system, your immune system. Uh, it's very good for these reasons, your endocrine system, your overall health and wellness, frankincense is a great one to reach for. Okay, so the next one we're going to speak of here is Valor. Valor. Now that is a blend from Young Living. It has oils in it like tangerine and blue tansy, um, northern lights, black spruce. I absolutely love this oil. It's one of my top five oils is Valor. I use it every day, literally. Um, it's very good. Many people refer to it as a courage oil because when it comes to emotions, it's very good about helping us to be calm and maybe uh, give us courage or at least calmness if we're going to speak in front of people, then Valor is a great one to reach for. Topically, topically, um, it is good for muscles and joints. Um, it's an oil I use regularly on my knee to help with muscles and joints. And the smell of this one diffusing, hmm, love it, love it, love it. Um, so I'm so glad to see that one in the kit as well. Okay, so then the next one, oh, Raven. Raven, well, Raven supports our lungs, our respiratory system. If you want happy lungs, Raven is a great one to reach for. We know we're entering the time of year when we think of our health and wellness a little bit more and how we want to be um, above that wellness line. So this is an oil that when we feel us dropping below um, and our lungs need support, we want happy lungs, and this is a great one to take a carrier oil and a drop or two of this and to rub on our chest. It's one of the first I would reach for for that very reason. It's a, it's a beautiful oil for that. Okay, lavender. Another beautiful oil, probably the most common essential oil that people are used to is lavender. And obviously you immediately think of skin support um, or sleep support. Most people connect lavender with sleeping and it is excellent for that. Did you also know though that um, lavender vitality, wonderful for your respiratory system and for your lungs. And yes, I said vitality. It also comes in the vitality. It's a beautiful oil. Um, it's an oil that I always tell people, if you're not sure what oil do I need, Kim, I don't know what to reach for, you can't go wrong with lavender. You can't go wrong. There are over a thousand uses for lavender. Um, it's a very versatile oil and a great one to reach for. Okay, then the last one I wanna speak of in the color bottle uh, at the moment is Panaway. Pan away. This is a great oil for muscle and joint support. It is the reason many people buy the premium starter kit because a lot of people as we age, right, we need muscle and joint support. Or if we're athletic, um, you need muscle and joint support and you will find that this can be your best friend and um, it's an oil that many people reach for. It has oils in it like heliochrysum and wintergreen, which are very good for your muscles and joints. Okay, so then on the top row, we have oils here like lemon vitality. So it comes in the vitality. It also comes in just lemon. Lemon is a cleansing oil. Um, so it's great for a lot of things. For instance, the other day I got a book and um, they had a sticker on it, and when you take the sticker off, you were left with the sticky stuff. I just barely put any lemon on the tip of my finger, rubbed it on there, like that, the sticky stuff was gone. So it's wonderful for things like that. It's great for cleaning as a, de a degreaser. The smell alone is um, wonderful. It's very good for your emotions, I think. It's what I call one of my happy oils. I love the smell of lemon. Most people love the smell of lemon. But guess what? Lemon Vitality, wonderful in your water. First thing in the morning to have um, almost like a room temperature water with a drop of lemon is a good way to help start flushing your body in the morning and get those organs working properly. Many people throughout the day love to have lemon water, very wonderful. It's also great to help, um, like I said, in detoxing, very good to help clean out our liver, which is the filter within our body. Citrus Fresh, oh my. When I first got my kit, this was one of the other oils that I immediately fell in love with. It has things in it like spearmint, mandarin, tangerine, 
beautiful, beautiful scent. Um, also great for your emotions. Again, it's another one. Any of the citrus I call my happy oils. Um, anything to do with emotions, Citrus Fresh is good at supporting the emotions. Um, it is in vitality, so it's also wonderful in water. It also will help you have a happy liver. Um, and a happy liver is, um, we know even our emotions affect our liver. So if we can keep that liver um, functioning right and cleaned out, then we're gonna be um, better for it, right? Okay, so then this next one, this is one, okay. I speak truth. This is called Dige. Some people call it Digize. Either way, it's in the Vitality. It's also in the regular line. Uh, it's a blend of oils. It has within it tarragon, ginger, peppermint, juniper, fennel, lemongrass, um, to name a few. There's a few more too. I think patchouli is in here. Um, but what I want to say about this oil, when I got my kit, of course, this was in it. I smelled it. You know, you get excited when you get your kit, you're like, oh. Mm. I put the lid back on it. I stuck it back in there, and I left it. I left it for three weeks. That smell, for me personally, was repulsive. I could not stand it, could not stand it. But eventually, um, three weeks in, I noticed that I was needing some digestive support. So I reached out to my sister who had introduced me to Young Living. And she's like, are you using your Digees? I'm like, no, it stinks. She's like, be a big girl, go get it. If you don't want to rub it on your belly uh, or on your, get it on your hands because the smell is so bad to you, put a drop on the bottom of your feet. Guys, I did that and within 10 minutes, under 10 minutes, I saw a difference. I could not believe it. This was truly the oil that was the most repulsive to me, but it was the aha moment for me in using essential oils, okay? I had enjoyed them for three weeks, and yes, I felt I was sleeping better and so on, but this was the game changer. This was it. This is when I knew definitively essential oils work and I was so glad that I've been introduced to Young Living. So I'm never without this oil now. It's great for your digestion. Get this, it's great for your sinuses. You want happy sinus? Keep your digees on hand, okay? And it's not a shock that that's that way because most things originate in our gut. Yes, even sinus issues can originate because of something in the gut being not quite the way it should be. So, wonderful oil. Okay, the one I took out here was Peppermint Vitality. Um, peppermint is great for digestion. It is in the Vitality line, so you can take it internally in a capsule or you can put it in brownies, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, it also comes, as I showed you, in the regular line, green bottle. It's good for focus, it's good for head support, it's good for energy and for your muscles. Um, if you're having a, a blah afternoon and you just don't have no get up and go, rub a drop of peppermint on. Um, if you're dealing with um, being really hot, grab you a drop of peppermint and rub on the back of your neck for that cooling sensation. Beautiful, beautiful oil. Okay, the next one. What Young Living is known for? Thieves. This is Vitality. It also comes in the regular. Um, thieves. When you think Thieves and Thieves Vitality, you should be thinking immune. I dropped it. You should be thinking immune, immune, immune. Immune support. That's the first thing you should think of with regard to Thieves. If you want overall wellness, you want Thieves. Thieves should be in everyone's home. Beautiful, beautiful scent. It has oils in it like eucalyptus radiata, rosemary, cinnamon, clove, lemon. Love, love, love this oil. Um, you can use it so, for so many things. If you feel like you're falling below the wellness line at all, grab you some Thieves. It does come in the vitality, as I said. So if you begin to feel that way, make you a hot tea. 
put some honey and a drop or two of these vitality in it. Um, very, very beautiful oil uh, to use. Good for throat support and many other things. Love this oil. Now besides getting these 10, you also get two more oils. Let me stick that back in there. You get Stress Away, another blend by Young Living, one of the more popular blends. Many people love it. And you can see why. It's called Stress Away. So what do you think that means? What do you think it does? You got it. If we're dealing with stress, then this is the oil we want. If we want to improve our mood, then this is possibly the oil we want. If we work with people who really just get us down, grab you some stress away. Or if you wear a diffuser necklace, put some in there so that during the day you can just take a deep breath and help you be able to relax. Beautiful, beautiful oil. Now, the very first oil I fell in love with in the kit, peace and calming peace and calming. If you want to be calm and you want peace, to me this is the oil. It is absolutely to this day, I, I could smell this all day. It's beautiful to me as a perfume. It is absolutely wonderful. We diffuse this almost every single night to get a good night's rest. It's one of my husband's very, very favorite is peace and calming. Uh, parents, if you have little children, um, some parents refer to this as their tantrum tamer. Um, if you have children with ants in their pants, grab you some peace and calming, give them a back rub, a shoulder rub, or get it going in the diffuser and see if you don't notice a difference. If you have pets, I have friends uh, who have um, dogs especially. I mean, I have a cat and I notice Miss Kitty likes it, but especially people with um, dogs notice that in storms, if they have peace and calming going, their dog, their little fur baby is so much more calmer. So just another benefit. So that takes you through the 12 oils. Now why did I do that? Because I wanted you to see that the starter kit really covers every aspect of life, right? From our sleeping to our digestion to our lungs um, to our emotions. All of those, Young Living does such a wonderful job of giving us a well-rounded everyday kit to help with uh, most situations. So I hope this has helped you. It's given you an idea of what they are, how they work, a wonderful place to start. Um, Young Living truly has been amazing. Now one thing I do want to mention that uh, starting today, anyone who purchases the premium starter kit with me, not only do you now get free shipping, which is wonderful, most people have been waiting for that, and so now that's available when you get the starter kit, you will get free shipping, but you will also um, not be left on your own. I don't believe in someone getting these and then not knowing how to use them. When I got mine, I had so many questions after I got it. And so thankfully I had my sister I could turn to or others uh, within our community, our Oli tribe, who have been so beautiful in helping me understand more and helping me see how I can research. And that's the same thing I do for all those who join with me. You'll get a welcome uh, box of goodies, uh, uh, a little bit of um, research material to help you out, and then some few other things like a roller. So, Because many people like to make their own roller to have with them at work so they don't carry a full bottle. They may like to blend a few. So a lot of little goodies like that. So um, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate. I hope that you will follow me on my Facebook and my Instagram, Essential Oils with Kimberly. And again, any questions, don't hesitate and I will get back with you. Have a good day.